Alright everybody and welcome back to Hexiled Gaming. I'm Scott and this is the Kyber Cup Digital Championship. This is Season 2, Round 1 of Swiss. And I've got a match here between Raz on the left and Protoskull on the right. Raz flying two Warden Squadron pilots, uh, two K-Wings with uh, Barrage Rockets. Then we've got Arvel Crinid with Intimidation and Gavin Darklighter with Fire Control System and Proton Torpedoes. Let's see, I imagine he's going to move up and do his turn one target lock. Keep that around with fire control system. Proton torpedoes to give out a nice big four dice attack. Uh, 75 points, pretty hefty, but he's also going to be giving out uh, crits to friendly ships that are shooting at things in his arc. Um, over on the other side of the table... We've got Proto Skull flying the three and a half horsemen. Um, we've got Forlom with advanced sensors, a hull upgrade, and the Mist Hunter title. We've got Paylob with the Moldy Crow title, Captain Seavor, and a Cartel Executioner with R5 P8. So we'll see. This is this will be the first time I've seen uh, the horsemen in play. Heard a lot of good things about him on the uh, the X-wing Slack. See if uh, Proto School can make us a believer. Let's take a look at the uh, K wings here. They have their arcs facing left, right, and they can shoot their barrage rockets out the front as long as they have a focus. So Paylob going to be a uh, bit of a pain to these K wings. I wonder if those K-Wings should have turned their arcs forward so that they didn't have to worry about Palop too much. Or maybe they just want to uh, force Palop to steal from them so that uh, Palop doesn't steal from Gavin. Gavin's already got that target lock. Give us some more uh, better view of the uh, top of the board here. Got a bit of a joust going on. All the horsemen versus the K-Wings and Gavin. Arvel coming up from the bottom of the board. Has a nice lane coming from the side. Who wins in a joust here? Paylob's going to steal somebody's focus. So either steal a whole shot from the K-Wings, or a mod from Gavin. Seavor shoots before the K-Wings, so conceivably, if Seavor can shoot one Warden Squadron, that's a focus gone. Padalob can steal from another. Ooh, Mango Feet with the subscription. Thank you. Enjoy those emotes. Red Craigford says, uh, Seabor can remove the target lock or maybe focus from a K-Wing, right? Probably the focus, because Seabor won't be able to move the target lock before Gavin shoots. There's no, uh, no swarm tactics in play, and there's no, there are no fours on the uh, the horseman anyway. So unless Gavin was shooting seaboards, not gonna matter. Looks like uh, Raz is going to rethink a few things here. The 5 forward from Crinid and a, bear, or a, a boost. Is there any risk there? If he gets too close to Forlom, that could be a bit of a risk. Let's just go over some of this... Uh, Horseman list a little bit more. So, Cartel Executioner, all the uh, 
M12s have dead to rights, so while you perform an attack, if the defender is in your bullseye arc, defense dice cannot be modified using green tokens. Then he's got R5P8, so he can reroll one dice by spinning a charge. It turns out to be a crit. He takes a crit too. We've got crisscrossing K wings here, looking to get that side arc pointed towards these ships as well as the front arc. So they should have. They could have shots no matter what, even if they get their focus taken away. So this is a really good maneuver here. Four forward out of Arvel and a boost. All right, so now the, uh, the horsemen are gonna go. Uh, Forlom, advanced sensors, target locks. Moving it on the farthest K-Wing. Here's a four forward. Gets a bump, but is in range one to give away that stress. Seabor moves up. Gonna go for the focus. So we'll see Palob steal a focus from one, and then Seawar jam the other. Palob goes for the stop maneuver. There's a two forward from Gavin. Nice bit of range control. Does Gavin... He's probably going to go for the focus. Why not? I mean, you could Proton Torp Forlom if you wanted to. He's looking to possibly barrel roll left and right, or left, left and forward. He does. No, straight left, okay. And he has a barrel roll into target lock action. And Seavor can't jam him because he's in the bullseye arc now. Oh boy. So Palob going to steal the focus from Warden Squadron Pilot number two. Alright, Gavin, gonna shoot the Proton Torpedoes. Oh, it's a dice roller, how cute. Three blanks and a focus. Wow. That's, uh, that's no good. He's gonna reroll that with his target lock for two crits onto Seavor. Wow. So Seabor needs two focus or a focus and an evade. Oh, look at that. Just natties. Seabor's like, you coming at me with that proton torp, not letting me give out the jam? Nah, dog. Nah. All right, Arvel. Gonna take a shot probably into Forlom. Well, Forlom and Cartel Executioner both have uh, our single evade ships. Just think about oh, goes for Seavor. He is not happy. Gonna focus fire Seavor. Maybe try to get Seavor to. Use the focus token or jam. Nope, there's hit focus. He's going to focus. Gavin is in 
or uh, Seabor is in Gavin's arc, so hit crit. All right, there's a focus and an evade. Gonna spend the focus for two evades. There's another attack evaded by Seavor. All right, now Seavor is going to shoot into the K-wing, presumably. Get rid of that focus. And there goes the focus token from Seavor's jam. Two focuses and a blank, so good job on Arvel forcing Seavor to spend that focus. All right, four I'm gonna shoot range one. Does have a target lock. So two hits, spins the lock. Hit, hit, crit. Not bad. One evade dice for the K-Wing. Gets the single evade, takes two on the shields. And that's pilot number one. All right, Cartel Executioner has both of these ships in the bullseye arc. Might as well focus fire into the second one, right? Yep, they're both range two. Yep, going for that second one. Oh, wow. Wow, a hit and two crits, one blank. So that's the hit and then the two crits on the hull. We've got a wounded pilot, not terrible. That's 22 points for Proto Skull, loose stabilizer. If you don't do a, uh, if you do a non-straight maneuver, you suffer a damage. All right, Palob. He's got a range two or a range three. Gonna take that range three shot. Keep focus firing. Four hole remaining. Oh, wow. Hit, hit, crit. Two dice from the K-Wing. Oh, two Natty evades! Nice, still takes the crit. Which is blinded. While you perform an attack, you can only you can modify your dice only by spending force for their desired effect. I imagine that's gonna be the first thing he wants to Well, actually, probably loose stabilizer. Alright, K-Wing strike back. Range one into Seavor. Already spent the jam and there's nothing left to jam anyway. Uh, the hit turns into a crit thanks to Gavin. Two natty evades. He's fine. Uh, wounded pilot. I believe is. Uh, I thought it was if you go over a rock or something. After you perform an attack. Oh, yeah. Wounded is. Uh, uh, worded incorrectly in uh, TTS. It's supposed to be when you perform an action, you roll dice, and if you get a hit or a crit, you take a stress.
All right, so number two, taking a shot into the Cartel Executioner. There you roll that. Uh, that was in a palab. Okay. So two hits, spins the focus, takes one on palab. Nice. Gets a shield on palab and forces him to spin one of the focus. All right, and that's uh, that's it. So Forlom's going to go ahead and pass off that stress. He has his pick of the K-Wings. Not sure what you do here. What does the K-Wing dial look like? Let's take a look. So this guy could easily just one bank. Yeah, that's blue. He's gonna bump, but that's fine. Um, I feel like this guy has an easier chance of just getting out of here and focusing. So probably good to put it on this guy. That way he can't hard turn. Well, he, he, there's not much he can do anyway. A two bank could maybe put him in here. All right, so the end of the first round of combat, 22 points on the, on the uh, board for Protoskull. Gets the uh, single K-Wing K -wing down to half points and takes a shield on Palob for it. Not a bad trade. A lot of uh, a lot of control here. Sevor with the jam, Forlom giving out stress, uh, Palob stealing focus, and maybe even this executioner taking shots that you can't modify against. He's got a reroll. Presumably, he'll have a focus. Gavin has R4, so he's got one of the bluest dials in the game. Should have his pick of ways to uh, to get out of the situation. Like, uh, looks like Raz is all ready to go. Are we going to see a Dream Intimidation Arvel shot? Love some good Arvel play. Nope, Arvel moves first, so I doubt we'll get the, the money shot. Yeah. 
Unless he gets lucky and somehow blocks a K turn. Um, I think he could. I think he could block Palob. Especially, uh, Palob stopped here. Um, so he's stressed. So you know he's gonna do some kind of 1 2 1 bank thing. Problem is getting Arvel there because the cartel executioner's in the way. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get it this turn, but it's still possible. If we if it happens, it'll be even cooler because of how difficulty how difficult it is to pull off. these initiative values. Is that a bump? Yeah, so the, the uh, K-Wing bumped here. This guy acquired a target lock. Arvel Focus barrel roll. Barrel roll boost. Okay. Nicely done. You know what? Samra said it couldn't be done. Said Arvel couldn't find a way to bump into Palob. Could we see a bump into the Hawk? There's the 3k from... Oh my god! Look at how close that is! Nice flying there from Protoskull. Look at that K-turn. Just fits. That's the kind of thing you couldn't do in real life. These nubs would be touching. Come on. Four K from Forlom. An advanced sensor. Target lock because he's gonna get calculates from the move. I made a camera for this, come on. He's gonna 4K, so he's gonna end up here somewhere. Seems like this is the easy shot to take. Yeah, that's the right move. You gotta range one shot with a calculate and a target lock. All right, Cartel Executioner, where are you going? Right, oh, he's gonna he's gonna move Palob first so that Palob can't bump. Okay, nicely done, Proto Skull. Nicely done. But uh, Arvel's still gonna get a a shot into the Cartel Executioner, so that's great. Two bank out of Gavin and R4 Astromex is going to turn that blue. Mike in the chat, happy to see an Arvel critted shot. Not much here to punish him. Uh, Palob. Palob could uh, get that range one shot in. Alright, Gavin's moving up, target locking Palob. Pat's in the chat. Didn't think he played X-Wing anymore, but we're happy to see him anyway. Alright, so we'll get a uh, Proton Torpedo into Palob here. It'll still be single, single modded. All right, here it is. We're gonna spin the last proton torpedo charge. We'll see if that uh, proton torpedo can be better than last time. It's the danger of single mods. Hey, he gets uh, two crits thanks to his ability and proton torpedoes. If he gets another hit, he can spin or he can uh, 
turn one of those into a crit as well. Oh, there it is. So he got one naturally, one from Proton Torpedoes, and one from Gavin. A hit and three crits. Let's see what Pro uh, Palob can do. He's going to get two evades. Nesseria. Uh, we just uh, had his Kyber match. Thanks for the follow. Um, two evades. Takes one shield. Chad Vader, thanks for the follow. Oh, boy. Uh, it looks like it was a direct hit. So evades two. Takes one crit on the shield and one crit, which is two damage thanks to direct hit. Uh, nah, dog. This ain't Undertale music. Come on now. All right, two crits, one evade from Arvel into Palob. Doesn't take the intimidation shot. That's kind of a bummer. But hey, you know what's not a bummer? Taking Palob off the table. Uh, well, weapons failure. And that's kind of the best thing that could happen. If you have to have simultaneous fire, at least as your last thing before Palob shoots, Give him that uh, weapons failure crit. <laughs> so while he's celebrating the fact that he gets to do simultaneous fire, it's, uh, it's a little bit less. And he spent his focus, so no mods. All right, Cartel Executioner, gonna shoot into Gavin, ooh, why would, mm, maybe he thinks Forlom's got what it takes to take the, take out the, uh, the K-Wing. One hit. Is he going to spend a charge of R5P8? Yes, he is. Rolls it into a blank. So one hit into Gavin. Gavin gets two evades. He's fine. You know what? Pat brings up a good point, which is why is there no jamming beam on Forlom? Uh, we should really bring this up to uh, Proto School. That bears discussing. Can't be a professional X Wing player unless all of your unfilled. Cannon slots have jamming beams in them. Alright. Hit focus. Out of... Palob. One evade. Who was that into? Oh, into the K-Wing. It was a pot shot. No big deal. Alright. Here's the range one shot from Forlom into the Warden Squadron pilot who has three left. Protoskull was so confident that he could finish this pilot. Oh my god! Good god! Three hits and a crit. Without spending a mod. Ooh, there's the evade. Doesn't matter. That Warden's going down. 44 to 58. Raz in the lead. 45 minutes left. Just for those keeping track, that was a console fire. Oh, two console fires. No, loose stabilizer, wounded, blinded. Okay. There we go. Now all the crits are on screen. like uh three hits three two evades and one eyeball oh, i thought it was three natties there for a second was that into gavin maybe that was just two hits and this is a leftover yeah because seymour can't throw four dice
All right. Losing Palob, big deal. It's going to give these uh, these K-Wings uh, a little bit more, well, this one K-Wing. What's weird, trading Palob for a K-Wing means the Barrage Rocket issue isn't quite a big deal anymore. Palob was a much better tool to use against that, but uh, Seaborg can still jam the uh, the focus off of the K-Wing and take that, uh, take that Barrage Rocket away if need be. Don't think we'll be worrying about that for a little bit as this K-Wing gets turned around. Pat looking for the Hexiled Gaming Mat. Yeah, I'm working on it. I will be working on it. At some point, I will work on it. <laughs> a couple other more pressing things before we get that. But yeah, that's definitely a dream. All right, dials are going down. Let's, uh, let's take a moment to uh, clean up here. Where, oh, where are we going to go? We got a stressed Arvel, so probably some sort of two speed maneuver. We've got a stressed Seavor as well. Same with Gavin. So a little bit more predictable dials. Could see another K turn out of Forlom. Maybe a four straight. Try and catch up with this K wing. Do you go for these easy pickings? Seymour. Seymour has, what, two banks? And there's the Kimagila. Oh boy. Fell through the world. Oh boy. <laughs> yep, TTS does that sometime. All right, well, we're gonna not look at those dials right now. Uh, Samus points out a good thing, which is four forward probably bumps into a two hard from Arvel. Hmm. Could advance sensor barrel roll. I think a three bank is is red on four lom as well. Bank is red, one hard's a red, four straight is red, 2k, 4k. Pat asking what round of the Kuiper Cup this is. This is Swiss round one. So it looks like the Rebels are good. Forlom and Seavor are down. Just got to figure out what to do with this Cartel Executioner. Here's the K-Wing. Forty-four to fifty-eight. Not too much of a, uh, a gap there. 
but haven't really touched any of the other ships. K-Wing seems like it's easy to go for 44 points. Half of that would put you, uh, put you up. And Gavin should have to run for a little bit uh, with that stress token. Pat saying, wish the playmat was brighter so I could see the bases in my little window. Yeah, agreed. Could just come closer. All right. Here's the uh, the K wing. We don't have any system phase here. Two forward. Turns the arc backwards. Mango Feet says, the Scarif mat is the best for that I found. I just, I hate that lens flare on that mat. It's so weird to see a lens flare there for some reason. I just don't love how that mat, mat looks. One day, when I design my own mat, we'll fix it. All right. Pat says I killed Gavin this turn. That's uh, easier said than done. So we get an arc turn from the K-Wing. Gives him uh, good coverage on this side of the board, and you're probably going to get Seavor and the Cartel Executioner. Too hard from Arvel. Does he focus and barrel roll? Nope, he's just gonna stay right there. Oh no, he's reminding him to flip the Sea War charge, I guess. That's nice. Oh no, that's that's both of them. Did he boost or barrel roll? He's still thinking about his action. Okay. There goes the focus. Two bank from Seavor relieves the stress, but uh, does ultimately bump. Too hard from the Cartel Executioner. Does he reach for a target lock? Is he is he that convinced that he has gotten in the way of Gavin? Or do you barrel roll and try to line up a 4K next turn? Well, he couldn't, couldn't 4K after that because the barrel roll is red. Protoskull, trying to think of that distance. Has he covered his bases here? Also, what did Forlom do? Oh, maybe Forlom stops. Maybe he advanced sensors, target locks, and then does a stop maneuver. Yep, Pat calling it. Oh, that's a three bank. Maybe he barrel rolls? Yeah, he's he's barrel rolling backwards. Thinking about it. There's the three bank. Well, now that 
I feel like that just puts Gavin at a range one into the Executioner. Yeah, I don't think that four-long maneuver helped him any. I think the stop was definitely the, the right call after we'd seen all the other maneuvers, though. All right, so we'll move into combat here. I don't think there's any start of combat stuff now that Palob's gone. So we'll just go straight into Gavin shooting into the uh, Executioner. All right, I hit in two crits. One natty evade. Nicely done. That shield's gone on the executioner. Arvel has a range one shot into Forlom. Triple focus. That focus is going to get jammed anyway if Sea War shoots you, so might as well spin it for three. Oh wow, another Natty evade. And that's one shield gone on Forlom. So now we should get a shot from is this Seavor? Yeah, Seavor shoots before the K-Wing. This is range one. Wow! Three hits. Arvel, one evade, takes two. That's half points. Oh no, that's into Garvin. Wow! Gavin, not Garvin. One more hit on Gavin, and that's half points. I think we're going to see Forlom give Gavin that uh, that stress. He did stress Forlom with a three bank. All right, the uh, K-Wing's going to shoot, and I think you shoot into the Executioner, because I think you're like one point away. Seven, eight, nine. He's done two damage. You're like two away from... Half points. Turns the hit into a crit. Oh my god, he's gotten three single evade rolls in a row. Wow. All right, stresses uh, the cartel executioner. Great job keeping, uh, controlling Gavin here. Let's see if we can... Uh... Here's the executioner dial, we got a 4K. Arvel is not stressed, so he's free to turn around. Is there any possible bumps here? Could try and bump Seavor. If Seavor does like a 
three bank. He's probably just gonna go forward, right? Like a four forward. Hope that the K-Wing turns. We have a, uh, a possible 4K from the Cartel Executioner. It double stress him, but he needs to uh, get that arc turned. Lum's got a 2k. Hmm. Could barrel roll backwards and 2k to be here. I think you leave yourself open for a barrel roll or boost out by Gavin, maybe. Alright, here's a two hard from the Warden Squadron pilot. Gonna turn that arc. Arvel with a 5k. Gonna get lined up for next turn. Seavor. Two straight. And a focus. Just looking to catch Gavin out here. 4k from the executioner, double stresses, we'll roll for damage. Raz has initiative, that's what the uh, asterisks are in the overlay. Doesn't take any damage on the executioner. One hard from Forlom, interesting call. Oh, oh, it, I thought he was going this way. I was looking at the dial wrong. Nicely done. Barrel rolls into a one hard. One forward from Gavin is a bump. Gavin catches nothing. Arvel. Probably best to shoot at Forlom. Yep, goes for it. 2v1. One crit. Let's see if this streak of single evades continues. No, but he does have a calculate. And he doesn't have, well, he has a shot into the Warden Squadron. So takes another shield. Does he have a target lock? No. Hmm. He had to barrel roll. Oh, four lumps down to one shield. Whoops. All right, Forlom's going to shoot into the uh, Warden Squadron pilot. Spins the Calculate for two. We get two evade dice from the K-Wing since it's at range three. Oh boy. Wherever you want to put it. One eyeball takes two.
All right, Seavor. Uh, one crit. And two blanks. So that's the last shield on the K-Wing. Very close to half points on that K. Cartel Executioner doesn't have Bullseye, but does get a range 3 shot into Gavin. Does have two charges left on R5 P8. Is he going to do it? Nope, he's got a target lock. Doesn't need to do it. Hit crit. Uh, four dice from Gavin. Thanks to the range three. Two natty evades. He's fine. K-Wing with a pot shot. Has the executioner. Probably that's what you want to shoot. Be one plus one for range plus one for obstruction so three dice for the cartel executioner could shoot four alarm hit crit and must be into four alarm eyeball and a blank four alarm doesn't have anything to spend on it takes two and that should be half points yep 90 to 44 fuel leak is the crit Ooh, that's a that's a particularly bad one with Gavin out here. I haven't seen your face, but I know it's you. I can smell the blood on your hands from the <laughs> All right. Double stressed executioner. Uh, Gavin says when any when any friendly ship is attacking an enemy in his arc, let's just read the thing. They can change hits into crits. While a friendly ship performs an attack, if the defender is in your front arc, the attacker may change one hit to a crit. squadron pilot probably going to like two bank or something keep that arc facing this direction focus cartel executioner one bank great control here keeping gavin stuck here just got to make sure he doesn't give uh Seavor up, you know, give give Gavin a free shot on the Seavor. I think a 3k or something is tempting. 2k out of 4 alarm could be good. But he could do the same thing, barrel roll backwards, one hard in. Maybe we see a one bank here from the Executioner. Try and block this lane so that if Gavin goes fast, there's nowhere to run. And then you just do something like a two or a three bank with Seavor and a 2k with Forlom, maybe. You could even barrel roll into a 2k, be even closer. Well, Gavin could hard turn. Yeah, how do you block that? A one?
Pat asking, do you, uh, do you switch to the Warden here? That's a good idea. You could let Gavin run so that you guys chase the Warden. Not a bad call. Advanced sensor target lock one hard. Maybe barrel roll one hard. Two or three bank. Hmm. Problem is, even even with the whole K wing, that's only eighty eight points. You'd still be behind. 18 minutes left. You only need one shield to get half of Gavin. Yeah, that's still still pretty far. Yeah, you probably need to kill the K-wing and get half of Gavin or something. All right, here's the three bank from the K-Wing. Touches the debris, takes a stress. Let's see the uh, debris roll. Looks like a blank. All right, Arvel with the two bank. Doesn't bump, nicely done. Good flying there, goes for the focus. All right, here come the horsemen. One forward from the executioner. Decent coverage there. Doesn't have any actions because he was double stressed. Seavor with the three hard. Good job getting in the way. Doesn't have a shot into the K wing, so I wonder if he wants to uh, barrel roll or if he's just trying to get in the way of Gavin. Could evade. There's a shot coming in from Arvel. Don't think he's getting any shots. Yep, goes for the evade. I think that's the right call. with the target lock, puts it on Gavin, and there it is. Where is Gavin going to go? Did he, did he dial in the hard turn? Two bank, that's not going to do it. Forlom's going to continue to put that stress in there. Forlom has a uh, calculate target lock shot into Gavin. Wow, such good control out of Proto Skull there. Gavin's going to take a range one shot into the uh, the chemo though. Four dice, needs some naturals, gets three of them, two hits and a crit, very respectable into a one dice ship. There's a focus result, hit hit crit into the... Chemo. One, two, three. He's just hoping for a not weapons failure. Stunned pilot. After you execute a maneuver, if you moved through or overlapped an obstacle, suffer one damage. 
Not too bad. All right, Arvel. Two dice shot. I would think he's shooting into the Executioner. One crit. How much does this guy have? Four left. 114. That was half of the, uh, the chemo. One evade. Hit crit, so he takes one. One crit. Let's see what that is. Structural damage. Barely had any structure anyway. Alright, the chemo's got a range one shot into Gavin with a reroll. Of course, he could reroll into a crit and have to take it himself. That'd be tragic. Two hits. Two eyeballs. Does he re-roll it with R5P8? That's very risky. He's doing it. Rerolls it into a blank, so it doesn't uh, doesn't get punished for it. Two hits. Gavin gets three dice. No mods. All paint, but all eyeballs. Takes two. That's half points on Gavin, who's got two left. 114 to 82. Can Forlom finish him off? There's only two hull left. Four dice with a target lock and a calculate. Ooh, there it is! Three hits and a crit. The crit's going through no matter what. Gavin needs to roll perfectly. And he doesn't! That's a dead uh, E-Wing. I don't even know what ship this is. 114 to 119! Protoskull takes the lead again. Can the K-Wing punish? The K-Wing will have a, a shot into the Cartel Executioner, who's got three left. How much time? 11 minutes left. Yeah, I think you take this range two into the Executioner. Uh, Forlom's on five, Seawar's on three. Yeah, I think you take this. Maybe you can get a crit. Hit crit. There it is. That crit's going through, and a fuel leak is going off, right? No, that's into Forlom, sorry. And structural damage means he doesn't even get to... Oh, and that's a direct hit! That's a dead... Kimagila! 138 to 119! The lead goes back to Raz. Oh, wow. This is turning into a hell of a game. Wow! Oh, man. 10 minutes left. 138 to 119. Fuel leak on Forlom. Pat's looking for someone to uh, shoot this K-Wing. Half points on the K-Wing. Nine. Three damage is done, so what? Two more damage would get you 22 points for Proto Skull. That'd be 41. 141. So yeah, half points on the uh, K-Wing would give him the game would give him the lead. Um Forlom needs to make sure that he doesn't bump Arvel. Yeah, it looks like he gave the stress to Seavor. The problem with Forlom is he can 
advance sensor barrel roll to get away from Arvel. So any sort of commitment to the hard ones to uh, try and bump Forlom, it's easily avoided. He could, he could stop. He could move in for a bump on the Warden Squadron pilot and then do a stop right in front of Arvel. One bank from the Warden Squadron pilot. Ooh, maybe, maybe Arvel goes fast and tries to hit Seavor. Well, no, no, sorry. Seavor moves last, so that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. All right, Seavor with a two forward. Or, uh, Arvel with a two forward. Two bank out of Seavor. Going to be, uh, probably in the bullseye arc, too. This is going to be a bad place for Seavor. Here's a three bank out of Forlom, who's looking to bump into Seavor so that he can shoot into Arvel. An advanced sensor, probably target lock. Goes for the uh, Warden Squadron pilot. He's he's gonna shoot. He's gonna shoot it. Oh, doesn't get the well. Doesn't bump into Sea War, but probably doesn't care. Two bank into the K wing, and he is in the bullseye arc, so he can't jam Arvel. All right, Arvel, three dice versus Sea Wars, three dice. Hit crit. Need one evade to avoid getting half helped. Gets one. Now, is this going to be a direct hit? No, disabled power regulator, which means he is ioned this turn. Going to be very vulnerable to a... Uh, Arvel shot next round. Alright. Forlom with a range 2 into the Warden Squadron pilot. Three dice with a target lock. Oh, he gets three eyeballs! Oh no! He can target lock and he might as well. Oh my god, what a roll! Hit, double crit! The K-Wing's gonna take the two crits no matter what. And he takes all of it. So that's gonna be half health. Let's see if he gets any kind of crazy crit chain. There is the damage. There's a direct hit. Into a panicked pilot. Oof, 141 to 138, Proto Skull takes the lead again, but it's tenuous. Let's see if the uh, Warden Squadron pilot can put some damage into Forlom. Range 2, 2v1. Does have a focus, gonna spend it for two, so one of those is going through. No crits, so no fuel leak. Oh, takes both. 141 to 138. Proto Skull still on top. Seavor takes the ion from disabled power regulator.
Oh boy, I think, Pat, I feel like you're going to drive people away. I kind of don't want to watch my own stuff now. <laughs> uh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Intimidation is why Forlom didn't get to roll any dice. Yeah, glad we got to see Intimidation trigger once. That's cool. Alright, where do these guys go now? We've got a double-stressed K-Wing. Probably just wants to keep that arc somewhere out here. A stressed Arvel. An Ion Seavor. Man, these guys are limping along here. A little under three minutes to go. This will probably be our last round. Willem did hand off that stress. Hmm. You know what? I just want to uh, take a moment and appreciate the fact that we have high-level games with a G1A in. One of my favorite ships was a bit of a, uh, a turd in 2.0, although I still flew it at the end. But it's... Man, it's great to see it here, surviving to the end of the game. Might not make it all the way. Got three hull left and a fuel leak. But uh, glad to see it. Pat says he wants to see a uh, an A-team painted G1A. You know what? If you send me a G1A, I'll do my best. We'll do a paint stream, even though I am a terrible painter. Too hard from the K-Wing, gets in the way, gets that side arc pointed probably towards where Sea War is going to end up. Too forward from Arvel. Not bad, gonna jam up the works here. Hope to stop Forlom. Give Arvel a shot into Seavor. Give both of these guys shots into Seavor. He's going to take a focus. Disabled power regulator's gone. Does, does Arvel have... Doesn't matter. Jamming Arvel doesn't help you here. There's nothing to strip. Nothing to jam. You know what? He should jam just so we can pull the jam token out. Alright, that's time. They started it before I got a chance to uh, to hit the timer button, so theirs was a little bit faster. But yeah, this will be the last round. Uh, no, it and Arvel's intimidation only applies to uh, enemy ships. Where is that card? While an enemy ship at range zero. Yep. All right, Arvel, gonna shoot into Seavor. This is for the game. One crit. Seavor's got a focus and three dice. Can he get any paint? He does. He evades it. So now Forlom's going to get a chance to shoot into the K-Wing. Range one. Four dice with a target lock and a crit. Two hits. He's going to target lock the two blanks. How much is left? Two left in the K-Wing. And this is before his initiative phase. One's going through. Two are going through. That's a dead K-Wing no matter how you slice it. Here's the evade dice. Evades one. 
takes two. That's six. Yep, and that is a dead K-Wing. There's nothing left to shoot. And that's good game. Wow. What an incredible game. 163 to 138. Incredible. That game went back and forth all the way to the end. Arvel had a chance to kill Seavor there. Couldn't quite get it. That would have been 30 points for 168. Yeah, killing Seavor there would have uh, would have taken the game. <sighs> Man. Hell of a game. Thanks to the players for playing. Thanks to everybody for watching. Till next time, this is Scott from Hexout Game. Signing off.